then I went again. Well, he said the you know, spiritual dimension. My precious and how important it was. I became a family. Everyone else was a star. Rabbi Dr. Israel Drazen is an author and former attorney at law. For over three decades, he served in the U.S. military, where he attained the rank of Brigadier General and served as Assistant Chief of Chaplains of the United States Army. I was living in, in Colombia, and uh, there was no Orthodox shul to go to except for the Chabad shul. And um, my wife and I would uh, walk the three, three and a half miles to Lubavitch shul. And the young rabbi thought that it would be a good idea for me to attend the Farbrenging and meet with the Lubavitch Rebbe. I got on my blessed the dear chaplain in such serious Hashem to spread Yiddish culture around you and to influence the Gentile soldier also in team, Trevor Mrs. Mayo, and certainly the chaplain. The other chapel of this Gentile will not be an active. He will not have kindness to you that you are mixing in his affairs, that you are helping him, but probably you can influence him to influence as a chaplain, the Gentile chaplain in performing ceremonies of Mene. And all this is a preparation for the coming of the Messiah to take. I will try and do that. God so much bless both of you and all your family and all your lost family of the Jewish soldiers and the lost family of all the Catholics and they soldiers. I said that's interesting that the Rebbe would think that I as a general would stand before non-Jews and speak to them about the seven Noahide commandments. I I thought this is something that's a no-go right from the very beginning. And then I thought about it for a while and I said to myself that actually those things that seem to be the most difficult in life are those things that you should try and do. I decided that I would um, think about it and try and do it. And I developed a speech that turned out to be a very good speech. And I tried it on, um, first on Christian clergy, and they liked it. And then I gave it all over the world. Dear Rabbi Schneerson, on 20 September, I spoke in Los Angeles on the subject for an hour to 30 Christian chaplains, including the chief of chaplains of the United States Army. Several of them told me they intended to speak on this subject. On 21 September in Los Angeles, the chief of chaplains spoke before 40 military commanders and 30 chaplains and told them that Christian ethics cannot be understood without knowing its Jewish foundation. He praised me three times and told his audience that they should have heard my speech. I have the opportunity to speak on the seven Noahide commandments in Europe to 600 Christian clergy in November, in Atlanta to 300 Christian clergy in December, and Salt Lake City to 350 Christian clergy in January. Although I am not a Hasid and try to follow the ways of Rambam, I have read much about Lubavitch, including all of the Rebbe Sichot in the 24 volume Likute Sichot to Bereshit Shemot and Devarim. I hope that the Rebbe is pleased with my initial effort to comply with his Shlichut mission. And he wrote back and he said, as I told you before, that uh, he is also a follower of Maimonides. I trust that you have your major speeches on this subject on tape and that you would publicize them in a suitable publication that would serve as a source as well as an inspiration for others to disseminate these seven commandments. Wishing you again the utmost hatzlacha in all your good efforts, particularly in the above, with esteem and blessing, and then his signature.